From the Farrah and Farrah Sports Desk, it's First Coast Sports. The Jacksonville Sharks are coming off of their third National Arena League Championship, and with all the success they've had, now they will compete in the renowned Indoor Football League. But the reigning champs mentality will always stay the same, no matter the competition. Jacksonville always has a target on its back. I mean, it's the Jacksonville Sharks, and so um, that's going to happen. You know, moving to the new league doesn't matter where everybody wants to beat the Sharks. New season, new league, same goal. When I knew we joined the new league, first thing I did is started watching film. I started calling the officials. I started touching up on the rules. There's some, some rule differences and making sure that I am as prepared as I possibly can be. The Indoor Football League has 16 teams, which means more games than the team is used to. There's a lot more teams. So, uh, you know, you're looking at playing eight teams in the playoffs and uh, from coast to coast, from here to San Diego, to Boston, to, to South Dakota. Coach Gibson kept his entire staff and about 50% of his team in his 24th season in coaching, he stuck with a similar system. Keep our core group of players, bring in four or five rookies, develop them, keep them here. And so now that those rookies are veterans, go out and find four or five more rookies. But at the end of the day. As far as I'm concerned, you block and you tackle. It's football. And the guys that do it best are the ones that win. Asha Gonzalez. Go Sharks. First Coast Sports. Well, now if you have aspirations of playing for the Sharks, they are hosting free agent tryouts tomorrow, but you'll have to make a trip down south as they will take place at Theodore Gibson Park in Miami beginning at 9.30 a.m. And you must have graduated high school while having no collegiate eligibility left, and the cost is $75. For more info, head to jacksharks.com.